<laughs> are you gonna help us clean the bathtub? Yes, you're gonna help us clean the bathtub? <gasps> what a good girl. So this is the tub that we are going to be doing my mermaid photo shoot in. And as you can see, it's a uh, quite dirty and grimy right now. So we're going to clean it. And we're gonna take the photos out here, either by the lamp post here, like on an angle, or maybe over there by that lamp post and those plants. We're not too sure yet, but yeah, first thing, we gotta clean it. Um, this is my other cleaning buddy. Hello. <laughs> and yeah, I'm so excited. It's gonna be beautiful when we're done. Look at the claw feet. It has claw feet. Ah, so excited. Okay, let's clean. In case you're wondering why we have this very dirty bathtub outside, it's because it was actually in my boyfriend's like shed for about eight years and his parents are redoing their bathroom right now and decided that they are going to finally use this bathtub and put it up in their room. So I said, hey, before you do that, can we please clean it out and may I borrow it for a mermaid photo shoot? So I've actually been planning this photo shoot for about a month now and I've been looking forward to it for so long. So yeah, that's kind of the history of this bathtub. I don't know exactly where it came from, but that is the reason we have this gorgeous clawfoot bathtub outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> so much cleaner. Lovely. If you're curious, we are just using some Dawn dish soap to clean the bathtub and all of the dirt came right off with some water and just a bit of dish soap. So it was super easy and pretty fun to clean. Hello everybody! Today is the day of the mermaid bathtub photo shoot. It is cloudy outside, um, so it should be pretty good. No direct sun, not too much sun. I'm gonna get my sister to see if she can do anything with my hair because this is um, pool hair. I have not washed it in like mm, several days. So yeah, we're gonna see if she can like make it look pretty, curl it, do something. And then I'm gonna do my makeup and then I have to pack up all my filming equipment and cameras and head on over to Keenan's house, which is where the bathtub is and where the photo shoot will be. So yes, I uh, hope you're excited. This should just be a fun, chill mermaid video. And uh, yeah, let's see what can be done about all this. All this right here. All right, so this is what we're working with so far. I've brushed my hair and we're gonna dry shampoo it. A whole bunch. Got my stylist holding the camera. <laughs> She's mute. <laughs> okay, so right now we're protecting her hair from the the heat. Yep. It's super dead at the ends right now. Yes, so we don't want to kill it. You don't want it to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Finger in mouth. <laughs> okay, we're protected. Always use protection. So here we go. Okay, here is the curly mermaid hair. What do you think? So now it's time for makeup and then I have to pack up all my stuff and go to the set. Okay, now my makeup is done. As you can see, this was my first time doing my makeup in like two weeks. So it was a little interesting, but you know what? It's good enough, we're going with it. And my hair's already kind of started to uncurl, which is sad, but it still looks, it still looks good. Fun. Um, I just packed up my tails. I'm getting all my camera stuff ready. I think I got it. Just making sure that I have all of my little accessories, uh, memory cards, chargers, everything that I need. And I'm almost ready to head out to set, which is my boyfriend's backyard. <laughs> so yeah, I guess next time you see me, I will be by the bathtub. Okay, everybody, I'm here on location. Here's just some of my many many things you can see you got cameras we got flowers we got bath bomb um, tripod ring light and the bathtub is actually over here which should look pretty neat and I'm so excited 
Ah, and there's tons of flowers I think we're gonna use. They actually added a plug now to the bathtub, which is super good because otherwise that was gonna be interesting. So now I'm just going to set up my tripods um, for my like filming camera, for the ring light, for like the camera to take pictures with. I'm gonna clean out this little bit of um, debris in the tub, pick some flowers. So we've got our work cut out. I'm already exhausted. It's been a long day already, but I'm super, super excited. And I think I'm going to get some really awesome photos. So I'm really excited. The what? Flowers? Oh, no, that's okay. They're thirsty. All right, we're filling up the tub here. We have a little bit of a leak because the drain is like not 100% properly installed since um, it's outside. But yeah, we're using the pool water to fill it up. It seems a little silly to be taking bathtub photos next to this giant pool, <laughs> but that's what we're doing. Nobody said it had to make sense. And my amazing Keenan is, is amazing. So everybody send hearts in the comments for Keenan. <laughs> Fighting a losing battle. You can do it. Petals, the petals will help. Yeah, that's, that's probably enough. I only need like a bit and we can always add more if we need more as we go. I took some flowers from Marlene. Thanks, Marlene. <laughs> and I'm just adding them into the tub. So we get this really magical looking bathtub thing. <laughs> got some bees, got flowers, flower puddles. It's like flower soup. So here we go. That's what we got so far. And now it's time for me to get into a tail. I wasn't sure if it was going to be better to put the tail on out of the bathtub and then get lifted in or put the tail on inside of the bathtub. I decided to try putting it on inside of the bathtub, which worked out well for this fabric whimsy tail by Mer Taylor. If I was wearing a silicone tail or a mythic tail, I think I would have to put the tail on outside of the tub and then get lifted in afterwards. If you're ever taking photos kind of in direct sunlight or with a lot of bright studio lights on you, it's really helpful to keep your eyes closed until the photographer is going to snap the photo. So if they can go one, two, three, open, then you'll be able to get those photos with the beautiful bright light and also not kill your eyes or look like you're in a lot of pain. It's really important to just have fun and change up your pose. After every time you hear the camera click, you want to do something different. Otherwise, you're going to end up with hundreds of photos that look pretty much exactly the same. Water me! Ah! Change up your arm positions, play with your hair, play with where you're looking. Are you looking at the camera? Are you looking at the ground? Are you looking up? Are you looking past the camera? There's so many different ways that you can change up your face. Are you smiling? Are you pouting? Make sure you are constantly changing up your poses to get the absolute most value out of all of your photo shoots. <laughs> get that face out of here. I'm just, just, trying <laughs> no, to get, good. just trying to get things. Thank you. No, it's good. Direct me. I did modeling for a year, but I'm definitely no pro and I'm still learning tips myself, but I wanted to share with you some of the tips that I use all the time when I do our little amateur photo shoots. My boyfriend Keenan is also not a photographer. We are just two amateurs with some camera equipment and big ideas and we just made it happen. So if there's any kind of photo shoot that you want to make happen, but you don't really have professional gear, you don't have a professional photographer, um, you can make it work. Ooh, are you you're setting the deck? Well, it's, you can see where the water's drained. Yeah. And so the cement is a different color. Yeah. Wow, look at you, problem solving. Yeah, it looks very strange. Um, you can tell. Careful, there's a dead bee, you almost stepped on it. Right okay. there. Well, you don't want to get stung. Here. For bathtub photos, it's a really good idea to use different flowers or flower petals and leaves to 
add some magic to the water. I've also seen people use like sliced citrus, so orange slices and lemon and limes, and that looks really cool. Of course, you can also use bath bombs or bubble bath. I also saw one girl who actually got her photographer or someone else behind the camera to blow bubbles in the direction of the tub, so it looked like bubbles were kind of flying up from the water. I wanted to do that, but we didn't have any bubbles, and that's not an essential thing that I needed to go and buy. So I'm getting photos on the camera and on my phone because phone images have a sort of different quality and I want to like just have as many options as possible. So those are just some of my photo tips, some of my modeling tips, and yeah, I hope you guys love the end results. I certainly am very happy with all of the shots that we got, and I was actually reposted by Mer Taylor for the very first time, which I'm so excited about, and thank you, Mer Taylor, if you're watching this. And yeah, just have fun, be creative, if you have an idea, just go out and do it. Well everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it inspired you to do your own fun mermaid photo shoot. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at mermaidzelda and at emma.forth and I will see you all next week for a brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Wait, you hadn't started that whole time? No. Oh, I was talking to it like you started it. <laughs>